Back here in southern Arizona, Lydia Reese was a fixture in Tucson before she was killed in a hit and run last Thursday. Many of you know her as the umbrella lady, but we spoke to people who knew her personally. Nine on your side's Raina Preciado is live at the makeshift memorial where the car crash happened near Ina and Oracle. Raina. The umbrella lady was a part of what makes Tucson unique. I only learned about her a few days ago, but many of you have seen her around Tucson for years. I spoke to a few people today who say she was a private person, but this memorial shows just how loved she was. And these people are the people that called her by her real name, Lydia Reese. It was fun to watch her. That's, that's kind of why she became so famous, I think. An infamous Tucson celebrity. It was pretty devastating to think someone could be that negligent to not pay attention to such an icon. Many knew Lydia Reese by the umbrella she carried paired with her Victorian style dresses. People shared sightings of her on Facebook groups dedicated to her. She was always walking the streets of Tucson. Nobody really knew why she walked when she when she did, where she did. And I didn't find out until speaking with her brother that um, she lost her family in a car accident and would walk to the cemetery to visit them. Wendy Allen was Lydia's landlord at the Wishing Well Trailer Park in Catalina. She showed me the area where she lived, right off the street, to make her walk easier. She moved out in 2011. Wendy saw her around from time to time, but her living situation was a mystery. She was sad when she heard she passed, but remembers seeing Lydia's passion for fashion in her trailer. There were clothes everywhere. She loved the clothes. I met Sunny and Keeley while visiting her memorial today. They helped me fill in the gaps of the person they've known for over 20 years. If she hadn't spoken to you or seen you present in her life many times, she would generally not acknowledge you. Sonny first saw her when he moved here 22 years ago and knew he would love Tucson because of her. His wife, Keely, got to know her over time. She was very introverted. I always wanted to know more, but also wanted to respect her boundaries about that. They both had seen her less than a week before she passed. Brandy McGrath only knew her from a distance, but she still set up this memorial. Hearing that she got hit was very emotional for me and a friend of mine who has had conversations with her. And so we came and we set up the sign. I'm glad to see that it's grown. I was lucky enough to meet these people earlier today to share the importance of what she had in the community. Um, each person I spoke to shared that they would like to see a permanent memorial made in her honor in Tucson. Rainer Preciado, KGA 9, on your side.